Hello? Oh, hey, Carla. Mr. Drake? Oh, yeah. Okay, I can be right there. Carla, and I'm Keisha, and this <laughs> is Tech Jam. No problem. My fault. No, it's outside. Okay. And then I say I'm. Okay. And I'm. Hi, I'm Keisha. And I'm Carla. And I'm Superintendent Warren Drake. And this is Tech, Tech Jam. Jam. So, ladies, I've been watching your show, and I have to say that you have a lot nicer office than I do. So, where did that funding come from? Uh, so, Mr. Drake, we're really thrilled to have you as a guest on our show to discuss important topics in the district. Thank you, ladies. I'd like to hear more about that EdTech YouTube channel. We have an entire playlist using Google Drive and a Canvas course on that. And if you're interested in checking out some of our other playlists, you can find topics like Google Classroom and support for the EdTech Q&A forum. I should take a look at those. You know technology changes so fast, it's important for all of us to stay up to date with the most current trends, tools, apps, and devices to stay relevant for our students. Even us here on the technology integration team are constantly learning new things. You know, ladies, you have a certain standard of dress and professionalism here, so I'm not sure about the camo. What's the deal? Mm, this is awkward. Uh, well, Superintendent Drake, we actually dress like this for a really good reason. We're promoting and planning our Google Certified Educator Boot Camp coming up on September 28th and 29th. Yeah, we thought these shirts would help us to get in the spirit of the event. Very impressive. I hope we have each one of our schools represented in that Google Boot Camp coming up. We do too. So now you know why we're wearing our camo. We've just been trying to get in the spirit of our Google Boot Camp. We've been flexing our Google muscles all day. And speaking of flexing muscles, many of our educators have been flexing their muscles by putting themselves on our Put Yourself on the Map campaign. That's right. I looked at the map the other day and over 50 educators in our district have got level 1 certification already and 13 have level 2 and that list is growing every day. Uh, we were wondering if you might have some extra funds somewhere to help support the uh, Put Yourself on the Map campaign. At the end of the school year we'd like to select some schools to recognize for all their hard work in terms of how many um, Google certified educators they have on their campus. Well, I prefer my schools to be one team, one mission, but if they're going to compete, I do like the idea of them competing to be technology leaders. Well, we won't mention any names, but there are a few frontrunners out there right now. That is true. Some of the schools have thrown the gauntlet already, but it's not too late for everybody to get involved. In fact, we're entering a season of getting our professional growth plans ready, and it's a great time to start discussing as schools whether or not they want to include Google certification for their teachers' action steps. Actually, I wanted to speak to you about the Technology Readiness Survey. Uh, should I be concerned about our scores? I, too, share your concern, Superintendent Drake. I mean, clearly, I'm not basic. I really feel like Carla's scoring is broken. It isn't broken, but as a district, we do have a long way to go to be able to support technology readiness for our employees and students. We really need to bridge that gap to make sure that our students are getting those skills. We have to make sure our teachers have those skills. Your score is a starting point, and you can use it to find the learning pathway and get on the path to success. Sounds like I have some courses to take, too. Our team is working really hard to publish courses to support the learning pathways. Well, it sounds like I need to talk to the staff around me about getting on board and taking some of these courses as well. That's right. Pretty soon we're all going to be flexing our Google muscles. <laughs> well, it really sounds like your department is offering a lot of support on this. That's true. Didn't you want to talk about funding earlier? Yes, I did. So it's been nice meeting you guys. I really appreciate that. I have to get off. I have a prior commitment, so I will see y'all later. Whew. I'm really glad that that meeting went well. For a moment there, I was a little nervous, if you know what I mean. But in all honesty, I'm super glad that we have a superintendent who's really supportive in his instructional technology and realizes the value of it to his students and faculty. Last vlog, we talked to you about the fact that we had our very first subscriber winner and we were super excited to go out to Capitol Elementary and recognize that subscriber winner. We have that video for you now, but while we were there, we had some aspiring and very capable students who wanted to make a vlog of their own. Check out Capitol Elementary with us. I'm Lyric. I'm Malaysia. I'm Raven. I'm Kenny. And this, this is, is Check Jam! 
So this is the end of our segment and we just want to remind you that we have lots of Canvas courses online coming at you on a weekly basis, brand new stuff being published, so make sure that you check out Go Sign Me Up to see what's new. And we hope to see you at the end of this week at, on the 28th and 29th at our Google Boot Camp. And I know Carla's not here, but keep tech jamming.